Hey guys, welcome to another one of our reviews. I'm the Worm, and this is the Proton. Uh, today we're going to be doing a juice review of which we did receive free of charge from edashworkplus.co.uk. Uh, so big thanks to John for sending these down. Indeed. Um, what we are doing today is smooth um, from edashworkplus.co.uk. Um, it is a tobacco juice, hence the name smooth, if you like. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, a little bit of info about it, are we going to kick off or what? Yeah, you want to crack on, I'll go on. Well, it's up to you, have you got six? We will start. Aye, uh, who do you want to do? Oh, 24? Sorry guys, yeah, we'll start with 24. <laughs> That's closing four. So we've got go. loads of bottles on this one, we've got four to do, so we've got obviously the six, 12, 18 and 24 in the smooth. Um, obviously different colour lay uh, tops on all of them. You've got six is the green, blue is the 12, you've got orange is the 18 and yellow is the 24, but it's on the desk over there. Uh, we don't normally need to reach with the 12 and the 18s, uh, 24 and the 18, so we don't normally carry them. Um, obviously, chip compliant tactile labels. All of them, are, all the bottles are shrink wrapped in the first place anyway, so that's always good if you are transporting them before you actually open them. So always good, especially abroad. There you go. Oh Jesus! Um, <laughs> Probably, yeah. 24 milligram shrink. I'm not getting so much of a freight as a nick hit. Um, yeah. 24 milligram isn't my normal strength, 12 would be my normal strength, so if you're on a 24, it's going to be nothing unusual for you. Um, so throw it off the 24, it's around about a 6 for me I'd say. Uh, flavour though, I'm getting, I am getting a kind of a smooth tobacco going on in there. It's, it tastes almost, um, not creamy, but it kind of gets that kind of all round your mouth flavour. Um, and then you're left with a, um, a sort of, I'd say a mild to medium tobacco flavour in your tongue. It's still going on now, but it's just starting to fade off, so about 5 10 seconds afterwards. Um, but the tobacco itself does taste quite like a, a traditional sort of the UK cigarette style. So. Yeah, um, it kind of reminds me of MC to be honest. I don't know why, it's just that actual the twang I'm getting on my tongue more than anything. It kind of reminds me of uh, an MC cigarette. Um, so, whatever. But um, yeah, it is smooth for a 24. <laughs> but it is, uh, I'm getting not so much throaty on this, it's kind of like a tingly tongue. Where I can feel the nicotine coating that tongue right up. Um, coating that tongue right up. But it is quite smooth. Like I said, I'm not getting an overall uh, throat hit. Seems it actually is a 24 compared to other 24s we tried. Um, it's not that bad with tobacco, actually. There you go. Uh, what we're going to do now, guys, is move on to the 18. Do you want to hit first? Okay. Hit first. Um, yeah, we won't hit first on this one. Um, obviously, same juice, we're just testing for consistency, guys. Uh, a couple more info. Did you have the price? Oh. No. Price on this one, guys, 30 mil is going to cost you 5 99 so back in price on the juice. Um, you really can't argue with these prices that he's smokeless. Um, what else did we not do? Do you do chip and pipe labels? Chip and labels. Labels on top that. of the bottles, you've got your batch numbers, guys, and all that kind of sell by date or use by date. So, it's not use by dates. Uh, it's, it's getting more common now, which is good. Going back six months, these stuff wasn't included on loads of bottles, and now that it is, it's nice to know because uh, we get a lot of questions about liquid. I've had this juice for three years, can I use it? No. Um, wouldn't advise it basically. Typically, your juice life is going to be sort of 12 to 24 months, so it's nice to have a printed yes or no can I use this on the bottle, which is awesome. Um, on the 18, less uh, of a, I'm going to say throat hit because there wasn't actually that much on the 24, but there is again less on the 18 as you would expect anyway. Um, but the, the, the tingling off the tongue's gone, it, it, it feels a lot more smoother this one on the 18, mainly because it's more closer to what I actually vape personally anyway. So. Uh, I'm actually getting less of the embassy now, more of like a, um, I can't remember what the fans, uh, the cigarettes you know with the uh, holes in the butts, those ones, I can't remember what they're called. Silk cut. Silk cut, yeah, it's more of a silk cut like kind of smoothness to it, which is actually uh, quite nice. Um, it's not leaving a tobacco, dirty tobacco taste in my mouth, it's quite a nice, um, more of like the leaf sort of taste, which is what I would prefer if I was going to vape tobacco anyway, so yeah, quite, not too bad for the 18. Uh, on the 18, yeah, less less um, throat hit for sure than I was getting off the 24. It is definitely sweeter now than it was in the 24, um, and it's definitely to me more appealing. Um, the tobacco flavour itself still tastes still tastes the same, but I'm getting more of it now because there's less nicotine involved. Um, yeah, it is. It's, it, I mean, in, term, in terms of a um, in terms of a cigarette, yeah, it's definitely now a lighter kind of cigarette. I would, I would say sort of maybe a light, stylish, silk cut. All them kind of Marlboro lights, all them kind of cigarettes is now that's now sort of more rep rep of them cigarettes than it would have been of the sort of strong ones in the 24. The nicotine does affect how the flavour comes across though, guys. But again, in your specific strength, if that's what you're using, then you're not really going to be able to tell. You'll probably be able to tell, you'll probably be able to taste, sorry, in the 24 what we're tasting in the lower strength because that's what we use. Mm. So, 
Uh, 12 now, guys. I just have to put it on the same mod because we're and down to three batteries at the moment, so. Indeed, <laughs> as you don't know, come prepared, guys. Um, yeah, so there you go. I mean, obviously, smooth. It would smooth to me would sort of hint at that it is going to be a mild um, tobacco. Uh, and so far, coming down the flavour strength towards our own flavour strength, this would be the uh, nicotine strength. Really, this would be the nicotine strength that we would choose. Um, it is definitely going in the right direction. So we'll see what happens, I guess. Um, no throw hit now, really. Um, maybe a slight one compared to other juices, but it's only borderline for me. It's only still like a one, so pretty much no throw hit on this. Um, that tingling is gone and it's being replaced by like um, a sweet smoothness. It, it, it's only a borderline sweetness, but it's actually um, it's quite a pleasant sweetness. So um, it still tastes of the same tobacco of what the other ones did. Just um, it's not as harsh because of the nicotine. Like the strength is lower, and um, yeah, it's got a slight sweetness on this one. Mm. Uh, for me, yeah, it's definitely it's definitely sweet or sweeter. It's quite nice actually, it's very on the tongue of sweetness. Um, the tobacco is very much roof of mouth and back of mouth and very, very mild. So to me, I couldn't necessarily relate this to a cigarette exactly because it is a bit more sweet than a cigarette would be. Um, but yeah, it's, it's good, it's very good. It tastes like the 18 does, just a little bit sweeter, a little bit less harsh on the throat, so good stuff for that. Mm, on to the six now, guys. Um... Sorry guys, I need to sneeze a little bit. <laughs> I'm fighting it off and it's just coming to get me. Um, <laughs> I'd imagine that the six that we're vaping now is going to be the uh, the sweetest of the bunch, or it should be anyway, I'd, I'd have thought so, because it seems to be the nicotine's dying down and the sweetness is rising. Um, to me, this 12 is kind of almost like what my ideal RY4 would taste like. Um, hmm. Tobacco taste, exactly the same as the 12 and the 18 and 24. The sweetness is... It's not as pungent as it is in the 12, but it seems to be coating my mouth more. So it's more like around the whole mouth and not just on the tongue as it was before. It's just kind of weird how the sweetness can taste between nicotine strengths because the less nicotine is allowed to actually flow around the mouth a little bit more and um, not be coated up by just nicotine. Um, it's actually quite nice actually the 6. I actually don't mind the 6 in this at all. Um, um, to me in the 6 I'm getting less of direct on the tongue sweetness as well. says I'm not getting it on the tongue, I'm getting it more around the mouth now. Because of that, I'm definitely actually tasting a little bit more tobacco than I was in the 12, and it mm. seems to be slightly slightly harsher than the in, in the 12. I'd liken that to the lightest cigarette I could think of, if not a very mild rolling tobacco. Um, very, very mild rolling tobacco. With this, this does seem, this seems more like a, a silk cut wood to me. Mm. This seems pretty much what a silk cut is. It's not anywhere near as sweet as the 12 is, and it's definitely slightly more on the tobacco side, so you're getting more of a, a cigarette styled vape I guess like it's, it does definitely taste like a tobacco and um again does the tobacco and it tastes like it does in the 12, 18 and 24 it's just again the nicotine changes the way that, that comes across. I mean they may have compensated in this one with more PG which is why you're getting more um, tobacco coming through. Maybe I mean they may well we don't know this guys but they may very well tailor PG VG not just to flavour but also to the nicotine strength in order to give you the most consistency through it um, to allow it to bring out those those flavours. It wouldn't surprise me if it's hand and they are uh, well, they're big. <laughs> yeah, they got kind of, they got a big uh, company in there. They eat, they deal to everyone. So, um, but um, we do two marks out of ten. One of what it's meant to taste like, and our actual personal views on the actual juice itself. Obviously, you want to pay attention more to the uh, first one because obviously your taste buds may be different to us. There you go. Um, for me, yeah. out of ten, what is it supposed to taste like? Smooth, uh, sort of a smoothish tobacco. Yes, it definitely does. It tastes like a smooth, a mild tobacco. Um, so I'm going to give it a ten for that. It does taste like it's supposed to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I can't fault this. It's, it's a smooth tobacco. Even at the 24, with the actual nicotine strip being higher, it's still relatively smooth for a 12 milligram uh, vapor. So I, I guarantee that anybody's on the 24 milligram is going to notice that this is smoother than some of the other 24 milligram juices out there. So yeah, 10. There you go. Uh, for me personally, what do I think? Um, I like it. I do actually, for, especially for a tobacco because I'm not a tobacco user. Worm's definitely not a tobacco user. Um, yeah, no, I, I would vape this quite happily. So especially in the 12 because it is a little bit sweeter. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to give this one a 9 for me, um, out of 10 for tobacco, and that's very high for us, so yeah, 9 out of 10 for me. Um, the 24 and the 18, I'm going to give an 8, just because it's not my strength, because it just, it, it's, uh, I'm preferring the sweetness of the two lower strengths, to be honest, and that's the only reason I'm giving the higher ones a, an 8. But then again, the, the people that vape at that 24 milligrams of strength, you may taste that sweetness where I'm not, because I'm feeling the nicotine hit more than anything else, so just bear that in mind. Uh, for the 12 and 6 though, I'm going to give them 10s. 
and I think your tobacco juice is tens at all. And uh, I, I would actually quite happily take the six out definitely, and put the twelve if it was there on a night out. I don't think I'd use it on anything else other than a night out, but I do prefer that uh, tobacco taste when I'm drinking basically. So. There you go. Um, yeah, recommend you try this one, guys. Obviously, in the price as well, unbeatable, really. Um, job done. Go and check it out. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I've been Mr. Proton. Been the worm. See you soon. Oh, mate, you have no idea how much money this.